Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU, and today we're going to talk about the iOS 13.3.1 jailbreak situation as well as iOS 13.4. We have some brand new guidance from Apple. This is one of those rare times where they've provided us the exact day an upcoming firmware will drop. Things are looking better. We're getting into the jailbreak news right now. So the number one question that I get asked in every single video is iOS 13.3.1 jailbreak question mark? Well, no, not really. As of right now, you cannot jailbreak iOS 13.3.1 on the latest devices using Uncover. You can only jailbreak up to iOS 13.3. However, there is a 13.3.1 jailbreak. It's just reserved for devices powered by A11 and earlier, which means the iPhone 10 and older. They'll be jailbroken for life. They'll also be able to jailbreak iOS 13.4, iOS 13.5 if it gets released, iOS 14, and so on, really as long as Apple keeps supporting those devices. So those are already jailbroken. Theoretically, there is a 13.3.1 jailbreak, but there is not one for newer devices. So I'm really, really sorry for those of you who are locked out of jailbreaking if you're on iOS 13.3.1, but really the only thing that I can recommend right now is just A, staying on as low of a firmware as possible. So avoiding any future iOS updates, just simply avoid them. Don't install them no matter what, guys. And then also be subscribing to my channel and dinging that notification bell if you have yet to. This is going to be your best way of knowing whether or not you'll be able to jailbreak in the future and if and when a jailbreak is released that supports iOS 13.3.1, whether it directly targets that firmware or whether it includes retroactive support, meaning it targets a higher firmware, but 13.3.1 is also included, which does happen a lot. Really, a general rule of thumb is the lower you are, the better chances you have of being able to jailbreak. Now, I did release so, so many videos I tweeted to avoid iOS 13.3.1. I was doing my best to scream on the internet, literally scream to avoid 13.3.1 at all costs if you care about jailbreaking at all. So if you are following me, unfortunately, there's really no excuse. I do understand, however, that there are extenuating circumstances. Maybe you were accidentally tricked into updating. Maybe you tapped on install tonight and you confirmed with that OTA pesky update pop-up that does appear on iOS devices or maybe you plugged into your computer, whatever the chance happens to be. If you're on 13.3.1 right now, like I said, just subscribe, stay put, do not update because iOS 13.4 may actually contain something rather awesome. We're going to talk about that in just a second, but first we're going to get into why you can't jailbreak iOS 13.3.1. I mean, it's only one version ahead of iOS 13.3 and it's not even like a major release like 13.4. So it's not a major 13.3. Point X update, it's just 13.3.1. So why can't you jailbreak it? Because it still has the three in it, right? I mean, most people would think that that's the case. Well, I'm going to answer that question right now for those of you who are interested. If you already know, of course, you can skip ahead to the newer information on iOS 13.4. So let's go into this by first of all talking about how Uncover is usually updated. It starts with a kernel vulnerability. So what this means is that when Apple releases new iOS updates, in this case iOS 13.3.1, they tend to close security vulnerabilities from time to time. And with 13.3.1 in particular, it closed not one, not two, but literally seven different kernel vulnerabilities. So if we scroll down here, these are the uh, release notes or the security changes for iOS 13.3.1, by the way, as you saw up at the top on that header. But you can see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kernel vulnerabilities that are patched in iOS 13.3.1. So the jailbreak wasn't even released for the latest firmware when it came out. It included retroactive iOS 13.3 support because Apple closed these seven kernel vulnerabilities in 13.3.1, which means that they persist in 13.3 and lower. So all that was required after that 
was to create or develop an exploit around that vulnerability. And that's definitely easier said than done. It first of all made use of an exploit that was developed by Brandon Azad of Google's Project Zero, who disclosed a vast majority of these kernel exploits actually. And then it was later updated to include a more stable exploit developed by hacker Jake James. But that's what's basically required to update on cover. Pone has done a fantastic job of laying the groundwork to update on cover for future versions of iOS. Really fantastic job on his part. But what is required most of all is that kernel exploit. That's how we achieve root access on our device and that's how we're able to do anything inside of Cydia. That's how we're able to modify it basically is with a kernel level exploit or if we want to go even lower than a kernel level exploit then we could look at something like CheckRain's boot ROM exploit, which of course is only exploitable over USB, but really most jailbreaks these days make use of a kernel exploit. So that is paramount, and that's where iOS 13.4 plays into things. So let's go ahead and switch on over here to Apple's latest press release. Um, we're talking about the brand new iPad that was actually announced yesterday without any sort of an event, just a PR post at about, I don't know, it was like 5 a.m. Pacific time, you know, announcing the new iPad. But we're not really too interested in that today. We're more interested in the software side of things. So this iPad um, was actually announced alongside a new Magic Keyboard, which includes a trackpad. And that trackpad support in iPad OS, which is basically just, you know, more beefy version of iOS, really hasn't been seen before. So when is that coming out? Well, it turns out it's coming in iOS 13.4. Apple confirmed that with this PR post. And they actually also tipped their hat for iOS 13.4's release. So if we go to search for March on this page, the very first result are actually probably the second one here, yep, the second one, confirms that, quote, iPad OS with trackpad support will be available on March 24th as a free software update for all iPad Pro models, iPad Air and later, fifth generation iPad and later, iPad mini 4 and later. So it's coming on March 24th. Why is that important? Well, it is possible that like iOS 13.3.1, iOS 13.4 may close kernel vulnerabilities that 13.3.1 may be susceptible to. And if that is the case, I could see the possibility of an exploit being developed around that vulnerability or vulnerabilities, and we could then have an update to uncover come of that. And it is more likely than a simple X.x X update, what I mean by that is something like 13.3.1, ironically enough, because so much time has passed between these two iOS versions, it's almost a given that Apple has implemented at least some security improvements here, but it is unknown whether or not they will feature any kernel fixes. So stay tuned for details on that, but you know, if you take anything away from this video, guys, it's just to avoid iOS 13.4 at all costs. We will know more soon, and I'll let you guys know the second that we do. That is the entire jailbreak situation right now. I really hope you guys watch this video in its entirety, but uh, I could see if you just skip to the new information if you're curious about that. But I do recommend re-watching it if you're at all curious as to how, you know, jailbreaks are developed these days, or at least the kernel level exploit jailbreaks. So definitely just exercise patience if you're locked out of jailbreaking via Uncover for the time being and you're on 13.3.1, there will be another jailbreak. It's not a matter of if, but rather when. We just don't know. I told you guys what we need, however, and also what to be on the lookout for and just to avoid iOS updates. That is best practice. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'll keep you guys updated, of course, as the situation develops and as we know more. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Also, if you're new to jailbreaking, up next is one of our recent top tweaks videos. This is what you can do with a jailbroken device. Full video in the cards as well as in the description. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about iOS 14 and jailbreaking. Yes, iOS 14 is closer than we think, and I really have yet to even begin to brainstorm what I want to see out of iOS 14. So I've been so busy talking about the latest jailbreak news and tweaks, and it just hit me. There are some awesome tweaks out there that would be just incredible to see in iOS 14. And I'm not thinking too radically here. 
We've seen Apple take inspiration from the jailbreak community in the past to improve the iOS software and add new features to the iPhone. I mean, just as of last year, dark mode is now on iOS. That's a huge accomplishment there. That's a feature that's been around for a long time on jailbroken iPhones, but now it's implemented into stock iOS. Anyhow, with that being said, I figured I would try something new today, give a new spin to my top tweaks video, and kind of combine a few topics here. Now, I just want to show you guys my personal jailbroken setup, what tweaks I use on a daily basis, and uh, throughout this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite must-have tweaks that I really hope come to light in iOS 14. Anyhow, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let me go ahead and show you guys my current jailbroken setup that's inspired by iOS 14. 